and welcome to Petroleum, a student course survival guide. I'm your host, Mina Donishvar, and we're here to make learning petroleum just a little bit easier. Today's topic is that of density, so let's just jump right on in. The story goes, as told by Wee Chu Wee Us, around 250 BC, in the independent kingdom of Syracuse, King Hirion II was cheated by the craftsmen tasked with fashioning him a new crown. Anything other than pure gold was not acceptable for a king to wear. Archimedes, a mathematician and inventor employed by the royal court, was asked to prove this. However, Archimedes could not damage the crown in any way, such as melting it down. So what was this awesome inventor to do? Take a bath. When your boy got into the tub, which had been filled to the brim, water came spilling out to the top. He realized that the amount of water that had spilled was equal in volume to the space his body occupied. And thus, by seeing how much water is displaced by a material is an indication of a material's specific properties. Pumped by his discovery of density, Archimedes proceeded to run through the streets of Syracuse, naked, shouting Eureka. I love that story, but that might just be my scientist crush on Archimedes. It has nothing to do with this channel, but his contributions to the First Punic War is a fascinating topic. Okay, enough of that. Let's get down to the meat and the bones of density. Density of a fluid is the mass contained in one unit of volume. What this formula is saying is it's defining density at a given location where delta M is the mass contained in an infinitesimal volume, delta V. In most applications, such as the ones I'll be discussing in the undergraduate topics, this is simplified by assuming uniform density, that is, that the same value of density is true for every point in the volume of fluid. The specific volume is the volume of space occupied by one unit mass of the fluid and is the reciprocal of density. Another density-related term often denoted by small gamma is specific weight, and this is the weight of one unit weight of one unit volume of fluid. That ends up being specifically helpful when you're using field units to convert between pounds mass and pounds force. Another dimensionless expression used that's related to a fluid's density is that of specific gravity. And this is the ratio of a fluid's density to the density of liquid water at the same conditions. Vapors are compared to the density of air. I use SG to stand for specific gravity, but sometimes you might see small gamma used. Just keep this in mind when, you're, when you see these values to check if it's specific gravity or specific weight that's being used. The American Petroleum Institute introduce their own unit of measure to measure a gravity of a crude. They use the degree symbol to denote the unit, and it's directly related to the specific gravity, as seen here. Crudes can be lumped into categories based on these API gravities, and you'll be seeing these values a lot. They're a big indication of like what's going on in, in a fluid. sources of the images and thank you please like and subscribe to our channel this has been petroleum a student course survival guide by myself Mina Donishvar with the help of Tanner Cole <clears throat> and as always if you need any help go ahead and email us at petroleum.studentsurvival at gmail.com thank you so much <laughs>